y'all. I'm Missy Howard and thank you for tuning in to the Trucker Barbie channel. Today I'm going to be talking about how to be a good team driver. Uh, we've all had a bad team driver. We've all had some good team drivers, I hope. I know I have. Um, and it's a, it's a wonderful thing when you have a good team driver. It really is. Um, it just makes your job so much more enjoyable and it just makes everything so much more fun. And I've had, I've had a few really good team drivers that I think very highly of, and I've learned a lot from them. Unfortunately, every once in a while, you get a narcissist on your truck, okay? If you don't know what a narcissist is, look it up, study it, okay? Um, and I'm going to talk about a technique. It's kind of a psychological technique about how to deal with a narcissistic uh, team driver on a truck or just how to deal with a narcissist in general. It's a technique called gray rocking uh, and it's just like it sounds. What you want to do when you have someone who is always trying to instigate and push your buttons and get a reaction because that's what they're trying to do. Normally they're trying to get a reaction out of you because they're recording you or something and they're trying to get you fired or they're just getting a, a jolly out of uh, seeing you upset because that's what feeds their narcissistic need. So what you have to do is, uh, you know, it's kind of like a, a dog and a, a bowl of food. Um, let's say there's this dog coming around and you've got a bowl of food on the porch. They're gonna keep coming back. But uh, you take the food out of that bowl and you don't put any more in it, and they're eventually gonna get the message that you're not gonna feed them anymore. You're not going to give them what they need. I'm not suggesting any kind of animal cruelty or anything like that. And I would never do that to a dog. I love animals. And you can see me at truck stops feeding them all the time. Or just anywhere I'm pulled over. If I see a, a helpless animal that's hungry, you know, I'm, I'm going to buy it a hot dog. I'm going to, you know, get it an ice cream even. You know, I love animals. But anyway, uh, what you're going to want to do is become a gray rock expressionless when they try to get a rise out of you you're going to ignore it uh, when they have a victory or something good that happens for them or something they're happy about um, your response will be that's great not that's great I'm so happy it's gonna be that's great okay you get the idea you're going to behave like a gray rock on the ground and then when they have something they're mad about and they want to get you all stirred up, your response is going to be, mm hmm. Or nothing at all. Just keep driving. Or just shut the curtain. Okay? If you're in the sleeper. And uh, if they won't leave you alone when you're in the sleeper, you have a case with safety about that. Because if they're going to argue with you when you have told them that you're in the sleeper, okay, and they're going to persist and they're going to keep on. They are setting you up for a dangerous driving situation, and you have a right to bring that up, okay? So, uh, yeah, just uh, think about what a gray rock is, okay? Go try to talk to a gray rock. See what happens. Nothing is going to happen. That gray rock is just going to sit there. It's not listening to you. It's not responding to you. It doesn't care what you say. It doesn't care what you do. You could step on it. That gray rock is still going to sit there. You could cuss at it. Gray rock still going to sit there. Okay? Uh, of course, I'm not implying that you should let somebody, you know, physically harm you or anything like that. But um, you can look up videos about gray rocking online. And um, this will help you deal with uh, uh, problem team drivers, you know. And a lot of times when people are acting out and they want to fight and argue with you and they're trying to get a reaction out of you, uh, the reason is uh, they have some sort of mental illness such as narcissism, narcissistic personality disorder. They may have some other things wrong with them, um, you know, mental problems uh, that they're trying to take out on you or that they're refusing to get help for or refusing to be medicated for or whatever, or just completely unaware that they even have. They might not even be aware that they're mentally ill and that they're trying to uh, take their uh, problems and dump them on you and take out their problems on you. 
And so if you find yourself in a situation like this with a teen driver or anybody else, remember, become a gray rock. Be boring. Be flat as you can with your responses. Okay? And, you know, it's just like the dog going to the bowl that's empty. You know, they'll eventually get tired of going to that bowl. It's empty. They can't get anything out of it. They can't get what they need. And they're going to have to find somebody else to fulfill their narcissistic supply. It won't be you. And the only way to let them know that is to become a gray rock. Anyway, I hope that helps you. It's helped me some. I need to practice it more. And it's, it's kind of hard to do, especially if you're really opinionated like me. And if you're really feisty, you know, and... Uh, if you uh, don't tolerate a lot of uh, nonsense and BS being said to you, okay, it's going to take more work if you're like me. It's going to be harder if you're like me, but you can do it. And that's how you win with a narcissistic trucker, a narcissistic team driver. You win by ignoring them, by giving them flat responses by not getting excited or angry when they're excited or angry, okay? And that will help you ride a situation out until you can get off the truck and team with somebody else or until they can get off the truck and team with somebody else or something like that. So anyway, that's all I have to say and uh, I hope it helps you and uh, please feel free to comment and I wish you all safe travels and God bless. Bye-bye.